So what do you think, Dad? Like I said, I'm glad the, the this inside isn't as bad as what I've seen. Right. This this we can clean up and uh, get the new carpet, the seats in, and uh, this looks a lot better than what I thought it would. Yep. But you are a dog looking for a bone <laughs> because you will not stop. No, I won't. Nope. What's going on guys, Ray right here. Uh, so today is a very exciting day for the Dale car. We are gonna be getting rid of this nasty blackish blue uh, carpet that was dyed black, has faded blue. Gonna get that all out of here. We are gonna be getting some bucket seats, some Corbeau bucket seats uh, in this bad boy. And I cannot wait, this is gonna be so awesome, so exciting. So uh, come on, let's get let's get into all this. So also, I just want to say, um, today's video, we're not going to be going in depth of how to take out the seats. There's videos on that. This is just going to be a transformation video of getting these nasty, <laughs> these nasty seats out of here, getting this nasty carpet out of here. Ugh, look at all that. This nasty carpet out of here. And um, we're going to be also putting sound deadening. Um, what's it called? dead mat or something I don't know I got it inside but we're gonna be getting all that in here and laid down oh I can't wait so this is there's gonna be a little time lapse um, pulling the seats out all that good stuff so just join along have fun and enjoy the transformation because this is the last time we're gonna be seeing uh, this nasty interior Alright guys, so as you can see, for a 1985 Monte Carlo, um, floor pan looks pretty good. And I think that's attributed to, it was a southern car, and it was always garage kept. Got a little, like, surface rust. <laughs> so what do you think, Dad? Like I said, I'm glad the, the this inside isn't as bad as what I've seen. Right. This... This we can clean up and uh, get the new carpet, the seats in, and uh, this looks a lot better than what I thought it would. Yep.
Okay, that is a wrap. We finished up the carpet. Woo! All right, so um, installing carpet was a new experience for me. Uh, never done it before, and uh, it really wasn't all that bad. Um, you know, I'm gonna show you a couple things with this carpet, but uh, this was, I'll post it up somewhere on here where I got this carpet from. Um, but it was, you know, a reproduction carpet that um, it's not, you know, it, it's not perfect. Uh, it comes oversized, so you have to fit it down to the correct size. Uh, but it's, you know, it's not perfect, but I think it looks a hell of a lot better than what was in it. Um, and this is for the next video, but I did put one of the seats in here <laughs> just to see, you know, how it all looked and how it all sat. And it is going to look great, guys. <laughs> I am super excited with how this turned out. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to do some other views of the carpet here just so you guys can see and uh, my final thoughts on this thing all right so as you can see the carpet is all in and those little holes there I uh, did poke them through for the the studs for the seats uh, the seat belt right there um, but otherwise I mean you can see some wrinkles things like that so I think over time that's just something that is going to work its way out but uh, for the most part, I mean, it it turned out really well. I'm actually really pleased with how it actually turned out. Okay, now I want to show you guys this on the tunnel here. So, like I said, it doesn't fit 100%. But again, it might have been my fault. Uh, you know, Like I said, I, I've never done this before. But I think for what I did, it turned out pretty well. But right here in the tunnel area... I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here. All right. So, see you see all that? So, there is, a, it's really loose right here. But um, as it sits, as it sits, I think it looks pretty, pretty good. Um, can't really tell. And, again, in the future, we are planning on putting a four-speed in here. So, once the four-speed's in, um, you know, we'll have the boot screwed down to the floor so hopefully we won't have any other issues with any of that but otherwise when the seats are in here um, I think it's going to look really nice so that's gonna do it for today's video uh, if you haven't already please hit that like button hit the subscribe button uh, stick in contact with our playlist that we have going on uh, with this Dale car build so Interior's done, well, the carpet's done. Uh, next video is going to be the Corbo seats. Uh, I'm going to do a little unboxing here, show you. Corbo seats? Uh, I'm going to do a little unboxing video, showcase the seats, then we're going to get them in the car, all buttoned up. Uh, but for another future video, I'm going to show you these blue seat belts. They got to go. So we're going to order some off of Jags, uh, like universal three point system. And I have a special idea for the rear seats. Um, so until the next video, guys, get out in the garage, build something cool, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.